Hi guys, welcome to this week's episode. Uh, we are back again talking about some of the design aspects of our newly built home. Uh, for those of uh, you that are new to my channel, my name is Massa and I've been doing this series on building a custom home, our home actually, uh, and just talking about the details um, when it comes to building a home, uh, all the you know intricate um, details of that, the design, the fun stuff, which is all the design um, aspects of it. I, I have uh, kind of um, uh, shared quite a bit of videos um, entailing all of that. So I hope that um, you'll stick around and uh, watch those videos, support, um, and I have a lot more content coming up that uh, I'm sure that will interest um, you guys. So, uh, and for those of you who are back, welcome. Thanks for sticking with me. Uh, we are going to do um, a topic today, just again, uh, about all the changes and updates happening uh, in the home. Um, we are gonna actually dive into some of the furnitures that have finally arrived after long awaited. Um, I wanted to share some of those pieces with you. A couple of the hacks that uh, I wanted to share with you that I uh, kind of installed in um, our uh, primary bathroom. Um, and uh, yeah, just sharing some of the uh, new updates there. So um, hope that you'll enjoy it. And um, we have so much more changes coming up already from the backyard, from the last um, episode that I shared with you where already so many changes have happened after that. So definitely we'll continue sharing those with you and, um, and a lot more along the way. Um, so let's get into this week's video. Okay, so let's talk about my first furniture update. This is uh, probably one of the best ones that uh, I wanted to show you guys. So of course, as you can see, we're in the office. It's the new um, office table, obviously mainly for my husband. Um, absolutely love this. Um, and uh, we have a... Uh, Obviously, it's a more on the matte black side. Um, it has a drawer over here for storage, and I just love the detail um, in the bottom um, with the double linear look there. So super sleek, very modern. Of course, it uh, definitely goes with our aesthetic, particularly in the office. Don't mind the tiny uh, <laughs> painting there. Um, still haven't got the art that I wanted for this space. My daughter just did a little work there, but anyway, so back to the table. Um, we are so lucky to have um, some amazing friends. Um, my husband's best friend, um, he owns a company uh, with his dad. Uh, and uh, as a gift for us, a housewarming gift, he made this table for us. It's a custom table that I pretty much kind of showed him what I was looking for um, in the sense of just, you know, style um, and size. Um, so absolutely love the way it turned out. Just the finish on it is so good. It actually is really, really easy to clean. The kids come with the fingerprints and it just a wipe away and um, good as new. And uh, yeah, so this is um, one of our new additions. So uh, if anyone's interested, highly recommend um, getting, you know, custom furniture pieces for your space. It's not as expensive, expensive as you think. Um, and then it, it's exactly what you know, you get for your space, right? Size, style, color, um, whatever, you know, that you require. So if you're interested, I'm definitely going to include um, his information um, in the description box and also um, his website. Um, it's, uh, they're called CML Custom Metal. Um, they're located in Concord, Ontario. Um, not too far away from where we are. They have been established for a long time now, um, since I believe 1996. 
um, and they make anything custom. Um, really metal, uh, anything metal, um, fixtures or furniture. They have some beautiful pieces, guys. I wish I had an abundance that I can just uh, buy everything. So um, definitely uh, recommend them. And uh, if you're interested, let me know and uh, I'll give you further information. But yeah, this was one of our new additions. Still have to get a new chair. Um, don't like this chair at all. This is from pr the previous house. It's um, doesn't really go. It's a kind of a brown color. I want to get uh, a little bit more sleeker and more comfortable chair for him. And uh, yeah, so this is one of our additions. All right, the other update that I actually mentioned on my Instagram um, is our uh, built-in coffee machine. Guys, I've been waiting for this for, I can't even tell you how long. It's uh, finally in. Um, it took a while, but uh, this was the last edition of our appliances. I am so stoked. <clears throat> we just began to use it this uh, weekend. We had uh, our, uh, our friends over for dinner and uh, they helped us kind of figure it out because it is a, a little bit complicated in the beginning, but oh my God, I'm super happy with the taste and just the quality of um of the coffees and the specialty coffees i have to get a little bit more familiar with the different uh beans but uh that'll come but this is just an amazing machine um as you can see it's wi-fi based you can have your phone make um the coffee for you in the morning before coming down um and you know you just have to prep it um at night um for it to go but um, it is a touch base machine um, and you know you just choose what you want um, milk froth cafe latte latte mo macchiato cappuccino coffee espresso macchiato espresso and then I don't know what this is ristorato anyway if anyone wants to tell me I think it's some sort of espresso but like you can choose the strength um, you know of uh, Let's just say this first. So you can choose the strength, uh, the strength that you want. Strong, very strong. Um, you know, normal, mild. You can choose the ounces that you want, and then of course how um, what the temperature is. If you want it super hot, um, you know, or normal, or even uh, I don't think it goes any lower than that. But yeah, so that's kind of the deal with that. Um, all the different. Um, coffees with it and I'll include a little footage of me making coffee this morning I'm so enjoying it definitely and an, a step up from <laughs> our Nespresso um, so it's so easy um, this is where the milk frother is you don't have to have this but I love my um, milk frother I just feel like it's much more gourmet looking and, and tasting um, water compartment that's where the beans go and then the residue from the beans so it's so easy to use um, and to maintain it actually rinses after every it does a system rinse after every use um, so that there's no issues with um, having any decay or anything in the system so super impressed with it so far and uh, definitely recommend it to those that are wondering what route to go with a built-in coffee maker but yeah this is kind of our new addition The next furniture piece that I wanted to share with you, or pieces that I wanted to share with you, were our new table and chairs. I was waiting for the chairs to arrive so I can kind of show you as a whole, but uh, the, the table arrived a while back. Um, it only took a freaking year, um, you know, to come, but so happy that it finally arrived. I absolutely love it. Um, it's a 50 inch round pedestal style table finished in white oak. Um, so pretty, even better in person than what I kind of imagined. Um, and yeah, it definitely goes with the aesthetics of our home. I, I really wanted to kind of blend in with the floor um, because we have or will have <laughs> this beautiful view um, with windows everywhere and sliding doors everywhere. I kind of wanted that to be the showstopper um, and not so much 
um, you know, a, a, a bold table. So as you can see, the way I kind of went about it is I made sure that it kind of blends um, with our floor and our walls um, and definitely did, um, you know, do that for me. So, so the table is awesome. It is from the LD shop um, in Ottawa. Um, and I believe they uh, themselves don't manufacture it. They get it from another entity. It's uh, called, I'll, I forgot the name of it, but I'll link it in the description box below um, for any of you guys that are interested. I know it's, um, it's a, a very, very popular table um, and always on back order, always sold out. It's a custom piece, so it takes forever to come and very heavy. So, um, and I've been, again, like I said, very happy with what it, how it looks and just how um, it cleans as well. Sometimes that's a big issue with the oak tables. They stain really easily, the fingerprints, but it's been, um, I've been really happy with it. So a little bit on the pricey side, um, when you take a look, um, it will be in Canadian dollars for those, for my American peeps. But uh, there are, um, you know, other versions of this in the U.S. I'm almost positive because I've seen many um, different, you know, stores carry it. So, and then what I did is I was looking for these chairs. I actually had mentioned to you guys what chairs I had bought. Well, those chairs, no go. I'm actually, I think it was a blessing in disguise. Um, the chairs that I had initially ordered were a woven kind of um woven uh wood piece um they were the generic um, um chairs that are super popular and trendy right now but i changed it so one was there was a huge issue with shipping for that particular chair and then the other issue was the comfort i actually found a lot of comments from people saying the comfort on those chairs was absolutely horrendous they actually hurt um you know your legs when you're sitting on them so you would have to put a cushion on them which i found a bit you know um what's the point of covering your chair when you want to showcase it and then secondly the other thing i noticed was how easy would those be to be cleaning cleaning them if my kids spilled something pasta or whatever in between those woven pieces it would have been a pain so needless to say i changed it these are from all modern and they're awesome um they're actually very uh reasonably priced um i wanted something that wasn't very expensive because i know it's going to take a hit with the kids um but it was exactly what i was looking for that oak finish and i know i'm taking a risk with this with the kind of an off-white um uh cushion however it is a leather finish so um or a leather um material so it's been super easy just to wipe off um, i actually bought a um, leather cleaner it's pretty popular that's really done done the trick um, with a couple of spills that my kids had but everybody that's kind of the first thing they said they're like we can't believe you got white oh my god that's gonna be you know a big pain in the in the butt to to clean but it's been actually really easy to clean my son is a very messy eater and um i actually have just put something over it when he's eating so that uh, so that his doesn't take such a big hit but otherwise it's super easy to clean i love the look of it as well um that just back brace um very kind of mid-century modern um style which i love and yeah four of those for here and uh, super comfortable and I think fits perfectly with the look I was going for. So that's our new edition. I'll, I'll definitely link that in the description box below as well, because I forgot the name of it, but I know they're from All Modern. So that's this one. All right, the next purchase, was, which I'm super excited about, is our dining room table. This is another piece that took a year to arrive like i said this is i think it's happening everywhere it's not just with certain pieces it's with everything so this is um, a restoration hardware piece um 
Again, as many know from Restoration Hardware, it's a little bit on the pricier side, but I think it is just well worth it. We needed a large table um, for our formal dining room. Um, and, you know, it's very difficult to get a 10 foot um, table um, from just anywhere. So you either have to go custom, which is totally fine, but, uh, or you go, you know, with some of these more luxury um, uh, stores that are manufacturers that make, you know, these tables. Uh, so we decided, we saw this a while back, we had an eye on it, and we just went for it. I absolutely love the angled legs, uh, just gives it some dimension and just an interest. It's not just a regular um, looking table. Um, and I just love the profile of it as well. It's so, um, you know, thin looking, but let me tell you how much this weighs. This is some ridiculous amount that when they delivered it, they had, I think six guys come. Um, and it was, it was really, really difficult. We had to actually bring it through the sliding doors. That's how big it was. So, um, very excited to use it. Actually, we've used it just recently with my nursing gals that came over for some uh, goodies, um, and uh, we uh, we used it. But as you can see, what's missing? Chairs. Um, so our chairs are on back order. What else is new? Um, they will not be arriving um, until December. I ordered them a while ago, but. Unfortunately, um, they are a custom piece that I ordered, um, and I'll definitely share that with you when they arrive. So I did get 10 chairs. Um, this does sit 12, but I just like, I don't like stuffiness. So we'll, you know, we'll keep it at 10. I think that's more comfortable and, uh, and go from there. Again, it's an oak um, material, a super, super strong. I forgot the particular oak that it is, but it is an oak. Um, just feels so natural, looks natural. I love just the texture and the graining in it. And we went for black, of course. Um, I just wanted this to be, I think we were kind of going between, um, you know, very similar color to our um, table that I showed you initially, but I thought, you know what, it's a formal area um, and just give it a little bit more, um, um, you know, that elegant look that I was going for. But I can't wait for you to see the chairs, just to see, pull the look together. This is the first room that I'm going to be um, finishing and styling um, for you guys. So just stay tuned. Um, definitely some art um, on uh, the wall and with the chairs. I think I'm contemplating um, to either go or not go with rug. I'll let you know. Um, and then, yeah, some decor pieces around here. But this is going to be a super simple room. Not, you know, I don't want any major, major um, distractions because, again, our major um, decor will be the beautiful view. So that is one of our other additions that we received. All right, I thought I'd show you guys um, the runner that I had um, mentioned in my Crate and Barrel Haul um, video that I did a bit ago. Um, so it finally arrived. Um, really love the look of it. A couple of things. So one is it's not the most um, comfortable item to stand on, I have to say. Um, I'm just kind of like, with bare feet i'm always in slippers anyways but if you're standing to wash dishes or you're cooking um you know at the stove so that's one kind of you know downside of it the other downside and this is just me personally i didn't realize that the um the runner the what is it called like the i guess the fringe on the ends of it um, is going to be so much. I, I actually thought it was going to be maybe half that. So I didn't mind because I'm not a fan of this. Um, if you have dogs who shed, um, you can attest to this, but the hair is just all over it. Um, so, and it's starting to actually, 
um, pull out a little bit because he walks on it and um, it, it's coming apart really fast. So I am actually thinking I might do a little something here. I might cut it, cut it um, halfway. I'll see how I feel about that. I don't want to ruin it, but I have to say that like just the hair and um, some of the you know things that you drop in the kitchen do go in it and it's hard to get out. When we're vacuuming, you literally have to put it on high suction to get everything out of it. So I love the look of it. Like I said, it's beautiful. Size is perfect. Um, it uh, runs its full area that I really wanted. Um, I could have probably gotten something that was a little bit wider just to cover my grounds, but it's fine for now. I'm happy with it. Um, but yeah, those are, those are, I would say the two downsides um, to the actual rug. This is the Agra woven jute rug. Um, from Crate and Barrel. I think I mentioned that before. I will include in the description box again, but uh, really beautiful piece. Just a couple of things to keep in mind if you are gonna spend that much money on a runner. So, but I'll keep it of course and uh, use it until, I don't know, it falls apart and then I have to get a new one, but um, I'll know better for next time. All right, guys, the next one I wanted to show you was our blinds. So these are the automatic blinds that I had um, talked about a lot pre in my previous videos. Um, they're Lutron um, is the actual manufacturer um, and our tech company had um, installed them for us. They're super sleek, as you can see, flush, um, flush with the wall. You can hardly even notice them. I was a little worried that they were going to take away from the windows, like the black trims, but it doesn't. Um, it works really nicely. It sits at the top and it retrieves in. Um, we've scheduled them all, um, you know, of when we want them to come down and up. They work with sunrise and sunset, which is really nice. Um, and uh you know they're all throughout the house so the only place we don't have them are here um in the back which i didn't want them so um these are also really cool because we've um through control 4 and the lutron app we've set them up that we can um you know they will retrieve back uh, oh sorry they will come down as soon as you turn on the television um same thing with downstairs they will come down for you so you don't have to worry about, um, you know, having to get back into the app and bring them down yourself. So that's really nice, um, you know, uh, addition and an option. Um, and I went for the same color in every pretty much room. There are a white and what I did is I pretty much matched it to my paint colors um, or paint color on the wall. And uh, it just looks really seamless and, um, you know, clean. I didn't want any different colors, you know, showing. I kind of wanted it to look seamless. What I also do like about them is they're see-through where they protect from the sun when it's very sunny outside. Um, so, but you can still see into the backyard what's going on. And then the other cool thing about them is when you're outside looking in, um, they, you could hardly, I don't think you can even see anything because I did it at night just to test and see what you can see and you cannot see anything. It's uh, um, virtually, it's, you know, pretty uh, solid in um, visibility, which is nice, right? You don't want, you want some either privacy. We do have a walkway on the side here, um, you know, if people are passing by, uh, but um, for the most part, you can't see anything, which I really like. And as you can see, as they retrieve back, you can hardly see what's actually up there. And they look like it's just part of the drywall. So I decided to purchase a couple of items to help me organize a little bit better in the bathroom. This particular item is, um, it's 
you can get it pretty much anywhere. It's a suction cup style um, razor holder. I definitely needed one of those. What I like about it is that it's see-through. It's not, um, you know, bold or in your face. So it's kind of hidden away. The other item that um, I wanted to um, apply in the shower was another kind of suction um, style hook. Um, really great for loofer sponges. Um, just, um, you know, keeps it hanging so it dries faster and, you know, doesn't fall on the ground as it has been. I did have to apply some 3M to the back just to have it you know, stick better, um, but they won't damage the tile. I had a little tester before I did this. So this will be nice just to keep um, the sponge, you know, hanging so that uh, it's kind of out of the way. These um, hooks I purchased on Amazon, um, they are also 3M background. So I really needed um, some hooks in the bathroom for our towels, for robes, um, just to hang. And I really didn't want to put holes in the walls and, you know, nothing permanent. So I decided to put these in the water closet, which is kind of out of sight, out of mind. And it's also located close to where the vent is. So it'll dry nicely for us and um, because it is behind the door. So I did clean the surface first, make sure you do that. Um, and then I did make sure to measure um, just height and the measurement in between the hooks just to make sure that obviously they're going to aesthetically look, um, you know, good. So, um, did that, but I would definitely wait, um, a good 24 hours before hanging anything after you stick them on just to make sure that they're secure enough to hang your items on. So here is the finished product. I have all of our robes and towels hanging and uh, really like how it turned out. Thanks for joining me for this week's video, guys. I hope you enjoyed it. Um, I love to kind of share along the way some of the changes and updates um, that uh, you know we are experiencing um, with our home. And I know that those who are in the same position are a little bit kind of behind us um, will, uh, you know, can take some of those information um, and apply it to their home or to their experience in building a home. So let me know what you think. If you have any questions, of course, as always, uh, you know, leave me a comment uh, below. Uh, love hearing from you guys. Let me know what you think of some of those furniture pieces that I shared. Um, and uh, yeah, I, I love, again, hearing your opinions. I definitely applied some of them, um, you know, into my home or to my videos um, as time has gone. So um, appreciate you guys always. Uh, like always, guys, don't forget to subscribe to my channel. Uh, press that like button. Press the notification button as well so you can follow along and watch all the new and exciting uh, videos coming up. Join me on Instagram. My handle is Massa Loves Designs where we talk all about design, building, and of course, interior decorating um, along the way. So lots of fun there. Love that community. Uh, have a good week, guys. We'll see you in the next video. Bye.